Hello viewers, good evening. It's 16th of April 2016. It's Prince. Today we're going to talk about double moving average cross trading strategy. Now, the risk disclaimer is very important. Whatever I'm going to share to you today, it's just for educational and knowledge purposes only. So, who am I? For those who uh, who don't know me, I'm trading forex for over 9 years. I'm an introducing broker with Avatrade. I'm not in any way affiliated with them. I'm just a referral to them. I'm a forex trading trainer and a speaker. I'm an investment and insurance consultant and a professional multi-level marketer. I was trained by Harry Singh, who is happens to be now a very close friend of mine. His website is tradingstarpro.com and Joseph James from schooloftrade.com. And one of my other great mentors is Vladimir Rybakov, who really shaped and tuned my trading career. So that's me. And yes, where am, uh, where am I from? I'm from Pakistan. So just to be clear, this, the strategy that I'm going to discuss with you, it's not some, it has not been invented by me. And you'll often maybe see me quoting my educators because I was trained by them so I am not a multi-millionaire billionaire like Warren Buffett or Donald Trump I'm just a regular person who makes a decent amount of income from forex trading and the strategy that I'm going to discuss uh, is available also online now we're going to talk about what are the requirements and what is the risk management that I use and the trading strategy finally how do we enter and exit the markets and trade management? How do you manage our trades? And of course, finally, we'll talk about the conclusion section. So what are the requirements? For any venture that you start or any project, any task that you start, always there are requirements, prerequisites. If you want to start any training career or a, uh, let's say, a, if you want to join a training course, or any job definitely there are pre requirements you need a specific qualification for that you need to go through specific courses XYZ so here our requirements are really simple you need a forex broker a reliable broker which offers a meta trader for trading platform and the broker must offer I'm repeating that be careful the broker must offer non expiring continuous crude oil CFDs contracts for differences you need a very stable minimum 4 megabytes per second stable wired internet connection I really mean by it uh, that it should be wired internet connection you need of course a laptop or a computer or a smartphone will also do and a tablet when I started trading I thought you really need two to four monitors to trade but it's really not true you can now trade off the smartphone as well and the strategy that I'm going to discuss today is really very simple and you need a backup power supply system like a UPS so that you have the electricity consistently flowing when you're making your trading decisions and or a USB power bank if you are trading on the phone all the time or on your tablets. So before I move into the strategy let's talk about the risk management. Of course Forex trading does involve huge amounts of risk you can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money as well but i'm going to talk about only basic risk management rules do not risk more than two percent on a position of your account i personally risk only 0 0.25 percent per 100 pips or points and what's the formula i have a formula how to calculate a lot size which is equity multiplied by 0 0.000025 these are five zeros after the decimal point. Five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. This will give you the lot set that you should use. The formula for five thousand dollar trading account is this. Again, same thing that gives you zero point zero one lot. So if you want to trade zero point zero one lot, you need at least five thousand dollars of the capital. This is my opinion. It's my suggestion it's not to be considered as an advice some people do very well with small amount some people do very well with big amount some people even don't do very well with big um, uh, big amounts okay and 
the stop loss or you know when if you're tra uh, trading with stops your stop loss should be like let's say if it's 50 pips this 50 pips should be equal to 1% or 2% of your account so here's the tra uh, trading strategy we need of course the basic requirement is the metatrader 4 platform and we need technical indicators which are 10 and 20 moving averages and they're not not just any regular moving average it's a smooth a smoothened or smoothed smooth I don't know how to say that word 10 and 20 smooth moving average and the time frame that we're gonna use is one hour chart we're gonna use and plot these moving averages on a one hour chart and this strategy I suggest only for crude oil market now how do you enter this is how you enter when 10 moving average crosses above the 20 moving average you enter a buy trade no questions asked and when you when the 10 moving average will cross below the 20 moving average you enter a short sell trade simple as that very simple here's an example you see the green moving average the fast moving average that we have here it is a 10 moving average settings again again smooth and this is the pink one the Foshan color Foshan sorry for not pronouncing it as English is my fourth language this is the 20 moving average so you see here when the green moving average crossed above the 20 simple moving average sorry 20 smoothed average I would enter a buy trade and hold it that's it and where would you place your stop loss it could be below the previous recent swing low it could be here or even here alright so this is how a buy setup looks like and I suggest and prefer you use Japanese candlestick charts let's move to another example the short sell setup so here is a short sell setup when the market usually you'll get the best setups when the market reaches the resistance level okay just like here Okay, you mark the recent swing high and wait for the moving averages to cross below to make a bearish cross. The green moving, uh, the 10 moving average should cross below the 20 moving average, and this is where I would enter a short trade. Simple. And you can see the reward. How much is it? This is the risk, a tiny risk, and look at the reward. It's keeping on dropping and dropping and dro dropping. It's almost like 38 to 36 about 2% or two, more than 200 pips reward now let's talk about trade management everything in life of course requires management the tasks that you do at your work in your daily life in home activities you apply def uh, some management sciences or management principles to them it is same valid for trading when you are manage uh, when you're entering the market when you're buying a position or short selling a posi position it requires some kind of management it is not fully automated so some of the basic trade management key points I would like to mention are like I said as it's just for educational purposes only there's no right answer there's no wrong answer there are multiple ways to do it so I'm going to talk about multiple trade management options for two moving average strat uh, double, uh, double cross strategy double moving average cross strategy you can exit when you see a counter cross I'll explain to you what do I mean by a counter cross another way is you can exit when you make one to one risk to reward ratio or one to two risk to reward ratio of the profit your stop loss is 50 pips when you make 50 pips of profit you can exit or when you make 50 uh, 100 pips of profit you can exit the trade one of my favorite ways is that when you reach 50 percent of the movement that is equal to your stop loss in favor you can close 80 percent of the profit and let the remaining 20 percent flow this trade management I learned from Vladimir Rybakov my one of my educators and I move my stop loss to entry immediately 
Here's an example. Let us say this is our buy entry. This is our buy trade here. Our stop loss is of 70 pips. So when the market moves 35 pips in favor, I would close 80% of the uh, of the position here. This is the entry and this is the exit. And I'd let the remaining 20% trail as much as possible. And when the moving averages make a counter cross against uh, cross against the uh, against my position, I would exit. What does a counter cross mean? That the trend is going to reverse. Okay, so that's how the trade management really, that's how simple it is. Here's the entry, closing 80%. Stop loss move to entry, the trade becomes risk-free, and we let the market float. Alright, so it is a very, 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 very easy trading strategy, but I do recommend that it's not enough with all the information that has been shared in this video. I suggest you do join a professional trading education program. You can ask me for recommendations and even you can contact me for questions. My Skype address is mentioned, it's prince.mahsin.goals. Even my Gmail address is there and my WhatsApp number is also available. So I hope the video helps and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave the comment. Please feel uh, free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you.